today i am going to deal with the second chapter from first unit glimpses of green i am going to show you a picture and from this picture you will be able to understand the name of the lesson now let us watch the picture what idea you get by seeing this picture what are you seeing in this picture yes you are seeing a snake and a mirror that is the name of our lesson the snake and the mirror lesson by waikam muhammad bashir a famous malayalam writer all are familiar with this name right why because he is our own writer he was born on 1904 down to earth writing style is one of his specialities and because of that he got a lot of criticism for his works and some of his important works are paathumaiyade aadu baalyakala sakhi endu poopa kar anandarnu madilugal and so on he won the padma shri award during the year 1982 and he passed away in the year 1994 he was a humanist freedom fighter a naturalist and so on as a humanist waikam muhammad bashir gives a lot of concern to the living creatures and nature in his works according to him all the living creatures in this world has a right to live uh, and survive as human beings so we human beings are not are not supposed to do any harm to these creatures we have to live in harmony with this nature now let us watch a beautiful video of this universe in this video we have seen a lot of creatures animals and the hills valleys plants trees and all god has created such a beautiful world for us so we have to live in harmony with this beautiful nature waika muhammad bashir in one of his works bhoomide avagashigal he explained his love and concern towards this nature and all the living creatures the love towards this nature and the living creatures was one of his doctrines and today in this lesson the snake and the mirror we are going to deal with a doctor he is the protagonist of the lesson what do you mean by a protagonist protagonist means the main character or the main actor in the story and this doctor lives in a rented room and he and the rats together sharing the room but he is not at all trying to disturb the rats in that room and one day one snake coiled around him but he didn't try to disturb or attack this snake instead of that he escaped from that room universal love towards nature that we all have to do and we have to love the nature we have to blend with the nature now let us go through the lesson the snake and the mirror has a snake ever coiled itself round any part of your body a full blooded cobra all of us fell silent the question came from the homeopath the topic came up when we were discussing snakes we listened attentively as the doctor continued with the tale it was a hot summer night about 10 o'clock i had my meal at the restaurant and returned to my room i heard a noise from above as i opened the door the sound was a familiar one one could say that rats and i shared the room I took out my box of matches and lighted the kerosene lamp on the table. 
the house was not electrified, it was a small rented room. I had just set up medical practice and my earnings were meager. I had about 60 rupees in my suitcase along with some shirts and dhotis. I also possessed one solitary black coat which I was then wearing. In the first three paragraphs, we come to know that the doctor and his friends were in a discussion and they were discussing about snakes. By hearing the name snake, we all are afraid of it, right? Okay. Here, the doctor is explaining about a full-blooded cobra. Now, let us watch a picture of a cobra. What is special about this cobra? Do you know? Yes, the answer is right. The cobra is the most dangerous and poisonous snake with its hood. By seeing the cobra, we all will get afraid. Here, the doctor was asking a question to his friends, has a snake ever coiled around one of your body, a full-blooded cobra? By hearing this question, all his friends became silent and they were ready to hear the rest part of the incident and the doctor explained the incident like this. One day, one hot summer night about 10 o'clock, he had his supper from the restaurant and he returned to his room. When he opened the door, he heard a lot of sound from the house. There was something moving here and there on the roof of the house. It was rats. And when he entered the room, he took the matchbox and he lit the kerosene lamp. Have you seen a kerosene lamp? Nowadays, we all the houses are electrified, so you may not be familiar with this kerosene lamp. I will show you a picture now. This is the kerosene lamp. With this kerosene lamp, we have to fill the fuel kerosene over here, then we can lit this lamp. It shows that the house was not electrified. It was a small rented room. And this doctor, he just started his medical practice at that time only. That is why he is getting very low income. So, he could not rent a big room or house during that time. He had a suitcase with 60 rupees and with some shirts and dhotis. And moreover that, he was having one coat also. As his profession mentions, he has to, he had to wear this coat whenever he is going for duty. And let us move through the next part of the lesson. I took off my black coat, white shirt and not so white vest and hung them up. I opened the two windows in the room. It was an outer room with one wall facing the open yard. It had a tiled roof with long supporting gables that rested on the beam over the wall. There was no ceiling. There was a regular traffic of rats to and from the beam. I made my bed and pulled it close to the wall. I lay down, but I could not sleep. I got up and went out to the veranda for a little air, but the wind god seemed to have taken time off. And in this paragraph, after entering into his room, he took off his shirt and vest and he hung them up. At that time also, the rats were moving here and there in the beam. And here it mentioned about gables. Do you know what is a gable? This is the picture of a gable that we can see in the end wall of tiled roof houses. And this gable is supported by a beam. And the rats were moving to and from through this beam. And he was ready to sleep. When he lay down, he could not sleep properly. That is why he thought to go outside to get some fresh air. So, he went outside. Now, let us go through some questions. 
what was the topic came up for discussion between the doctor and his friends? I think you know the answer. Yes, the answer is right. It is the topic was about snakes. And the second question from your textbook, what does the expression a full blooded cobra suggest? As I already mentioned, it means a dangerous and a poisonous snake with its hood. The sound was a familiar one. What was the sound? The sound of something that was heard from above the roof and it was the sound of rats. And let us move to the next part of the lesson. I went back into the room and sat down on the chair. I opened the box beneath the table and took out a book, the Materia Medica. I opened it at the table on which stood the lamp and a large mirror. A small comb lay beside the mirror. One feels tempted to look into a mirror when it is near. I took a look. In those days, I was a great admirer of beauty and I believed in making myself look handsome. I was unmarried and was a doctor. I felt I had to make my presence felt. I picked up the comb and ran it through my hair and adjusted the parting so that it looked straight and neat. Again, I heard that sound from above. After entering into the room, the doctor sat on a chair in his room. There was a table and chair in his room. After sitting there, he opened the shelf of the table and took a book. The name of the book is Materia Medica. This book gives practice of medicines to the doctors. This is the book of Materia Medica. And he kept it opened on the table. And there was a mirror on the table. Near the mirror, there was a comb also. And whenever we are watching, we are seeing a mirror, we will have a temptation to look our face in the mirror. Likewise, the doctor also looked into the mirror. And by seeing the mirror, he began to think about his own beauty. He was very much beauty conscious because he was a bachelor and not only that, he was a doctor too. So, he took the comb and he dressed his hair in different styles and all to look which one is more better than the other. And the next part of the lesson, I took a close look at my face in the mirror. I made an important decision. I would shave daily and grow a thin moustache to look more handsome. I was after all a bachelor and a doctor. I looked into the mirror and smiled. It was an attractive smile. I made another earth shaking decision. I would always keep that attractive smile on my face to look more handsome. I was after all a bachelor and a doctor two on top of it. Again came that noise from above. Here, by looking at the mirror, the doctor is taking a decision, the first decision. The decision was that he would shave daily and he would keep a thin moustache on his face to make him more attractive. And again he took another decision, another earth, earth shaking decision. The decision was that he would keep a beautiful smile, an attractive smile on his face to make him more attractive. At that time also, he can hear this voice from above. And let us go through the questions. In those days, I was a great admirer of beauty. Pick out the phrases and expressions from the textbook to justify the statement. I felt I had to make my presence felt. 
then again he would shave daily and he would grow a thin mustache to make him more attractive and the next question what was the two important earth shaking decisions that was taken by the doctor by looking at the mirror the first decision was that he would shave daily and will keep a thin mustache on his face to make him more attractive and the second decision was that it was an earth shaking decision that he would keep an attractive smile on his face to make him more attractive again came that noise from above did the doctor pay much attention to the noise why no the doctor didn't pay much attention to the noise why because uh, he already knows that uh, there were a lot of rats on the roof that's why he didn't give that much care to the noise now as an activity what you have to do is you have to write down all the questions and you have to find out that we have already discussed the answers already we have discussed that answers you have to copy down to your notebook and moreover that you have to write a profile of Waikam Muhammad Bashir already I have mentioned in the first part of the lesson Waikam Muhammad Bashir is a famous Malayalam writer he hails from Kerala and he was born in the year 1904 down to earth writing style is one of his specialities because of that he got a lot of criticism for his works and some of his important works are Patumai Deyade, Bhalya Gala Sagigal, Andupu Pakur Anandarana and so on and he won the Padma Shri award in 1982 and he passed away in the year 1994 this is about his profile this one you have to write as a paragraph while writing this profile you have to be careful about one thing you do not forget to write the heading of the uh, profile you have to write the heading as Waikam Muhammad Bashir and after that you have to write the profile of this person and this is a sure question in your SSLC examination there will be one question of six marks to write about a profile dear children now what you have to do is you have to read the text at least for two times and you have to underline the difficult words and use a glossary or dictionary to find out the meaning of these words and that you can write down in your notebook and one more activity I am going to give you you have to prepare the character sketch of the homeopath you can watch this video again in YouTube channel of goodness TV.